Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you all doing? I hope you are all having a great, a wonderful Sunday afternoon. It is extreme. Well, the sun is just uh, peeking out here in Brooklyn, New York. We had um, rain basically all night. And, uh, you know, when it rains at night, what does people normally like to do? People normally like to sleep and you can only get to sleep if you have that quality time. This morning I decided that I was going to sleep, yeah, for a long, 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 long time. I decided that this Sunday morning I was going to sleep. So I actually, basically I woke up like nine o'clock. And then I went, yeah, little old me always have to go take shower. I don't know why. So I went and I took my shower and I went back to bed. And believe it or not, I was actually surprised. that I surprised myself because I went to sleep again. I so need that little extra time. So I am basically grateful for the rain and just grateful to be alive that is grateful for everything and here i am a couple minutes or a couple few hours after i actually woke up no joke guys i actually got out of the bed minutes to three i think minutes to three and another shower yes i took another shower to feel fresh and awake and do my makeup and now we are here on Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. How are you all doing? Today we're going to talk about um, how to take care of the skin free from wrinkles, free from spots and blemishes, having your skin looking clear and radiant at all time. And I actually start out the show by talking about sleeping because that is also important. If you get your sleep on at least six to eight hours, it definitely will also help your skin. It will help you to look you know, more awake, less tired, more vibrant looking. And a lot of us tend not to do that especially when life take over and you're so busy trying to get your life together, trying to get things done, trying to please everyone and just trying to have the kids happy, the hussy happy, the wife happy. You're just doing all of that and you totally forget about yourself. That is when life take over and sleep is like minimal, but you need to find that time just Put everything aside at least once in a while and just sit or just lay in the bed, lay there. Whether you could sleep, yes or no, just stay there and meditate or try to sleep so you could look away, so you could um, re-energize the body and have yourself feeling amazing and your skin looking amazing. Now, this is Sunday Chit Chat. If this is your first time, join in a warm welcome to you. And Sunday Chit Chat, we just talk about the topic. I take questions and answers, and we basically interact with each other for at least an hour or so. Now, we're gonna be talking about ways and tips that you can actually do to your skin to have it looking amazing. Overall, guys, overall, not only your face, but your entire body, you know, things because your face could look amazing and your body just don't, you know, match up the face. So we're basically going to talk about overall tips to have yourself free from wrinkles, looking amazing, feeling great, and, you know, basically well rested. Millie Reyes, happy Sunday, Chichi. Love you. And I love you so much. Like, really and truly love you. Um, Constant uh, Mafoma. Hi, everyone. Brenda Watson, hello, Chichi. Happy Sunday. Guys, is my voice sound a little like Orsi? Nom, 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 nom. Is that because of too much sleep? <laughs> no, guys, my voice was a little off uh, from a few days ago, so definitely not the sleep. Brushing for greatness. Beautiful. Thank you for that. We are, Hey, Jason, how are you? I saw your comment, Jason, with that um, avocado seed. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm definitely going to try that out, and I will let you know. All right, so we also have Angel Fernandez. Um, hello, hello, Karen. How are you? Karen was the first person... 
on the chat in my view. Laura Lynch, happy Sunday. Oh, you are a great help to women. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Now, before we get on any further, guys, I have been getting a lot of requests to do a live where we talk about things apart from skincare. Now, I got to keep it um, clear with you guys. If I decided to do it, since there's so many requests, there's so many women out there, you know, who think um, we could actually do another segment dealing with women issues, not only the skin. And I'm really playing around with that in my head. I once have a um, another um, series, and that was... Um, you know, where people tend to write in with issues, but some of the issues were a little too, too adult for YouTube. So I have to make you guys know if I do a show like that, it would have to be like a really, really, really clean version of woman issues where we would have to pair the words words that we're gonna be like mindful some of the wording we probably would have to like speak in a little bit of a code or something like that but i am toying around with it so if i keep getting all those requests i will give it a go and we'll see how it goes and then we will see if you know we are able to do a show like that without getting flag for the content okay guys so not don't think i'm ignoring the requests i am not i am just you know a little mindful of the kind of topic that you guys are requesting and oh well i could you know mold it for youtube if not i definitely will do a podcast because someone suggested that i do a podcast instead around the topics that you guys are requesting so i'm working on it and very soon we'll give it a try trial run all right so that is for announcement another announcement before we start is merchandise if you look below the videos most of my videos you're going to notice we have merchandise display underneath if you feel like you want to go you know browse around on the merchandise and you feel like you want to contribute something to the channel an easy way to do that is to support the merchandise and we have like leggings we have t-shirts we have cups and stuff like that also if you have a design especially for a teacup i'm looking for a design for one of my teacups so if you have anything in mind if you out there and you draw and you want to support the channel by giving us a design for one of our teacups then feel free to send that design to chichibeauty at gmail.com also we are looking into starting membership and you know it's it's something that everyone is doing and it's something that is offered on my channel i personally didn't jump at it to go ahead but um i've been you know playing around, toying around with it. So very soon I will roll out the membership. And for membership, you have like special little, you know, stuff that you tend to get apart from the regular. But when it is available to you guys, I will let you all know. So skincare, how to get rid of wrinkles. Now, one of the things that I personally do to my skin, and I do this on the regular, I like to massage my skin okay and why i start out with massaging is that it is actually really really effective and there's no joke for the time that you are watching this video today i am going to challenge you to start to massage your face if you have wrinkles deep laugh line start out by just lifting and holding for a couple of seconds for 10 minutes while watching and I guarantee you at the end of 10 minutes you are going to be blown away because immediately you're going to see some at least a bit of a difference so I like to massage my face and I have some amazing videos showing you how to massage your face that actually helps a lot along with the wonderful remedies that you are using so practice the massage of face at least three to four times a week once you learn how to massage the face it's gonna be so easy because you'll find yourself just sitting down probably you know not having much to do or watching a movie and you'll find that you keep 
doing it like you know you just keep massaging just lifting and lifting and that really works i am still getting nasty comments on my channel about my you know my botox procedures and i would not lie to you guys you know i am like a talker and i like to talk a lot so i would not come on this channel and tell you that i don't get help I really and truly just do my regular facial and massages and my wonderful natural ingredient that I use on my skin and this is the result. Now, I am constantly taking care of my skin. If you want to have your skin looking amazing, you definitely will have to pay attention you cannot go to bed with makeup on. You cannot say next week you're going to try the facial scrub. And when next week comes around, you said, okay, I will try that facial scrub next week. And next week turn into a month and then it turn into a year and you're still looking, you know, the way you look. Now, don't come at me for some of you in the subscribe, in the comment panel, talking about... Um, we will talk so much about the skin and skincare and, you know, people is going to get old regardless of what we do. We never, ever come on this channel and say that we're not going to get old. I normally preach, you know, what you can do to have yourself looking much younger than your age or what you can do to slow the aging process down. Now, if you look around you, um, in life on a whole, most people want to look amazing. Most people would like to look fresh and gorgeous. Why do you think that there are so many, you know, people that support all these celebrities and all of that? Because in most people's own little world, they want to look amazing just like the celebrities. Now, where my channel comes in is that I show you how you can look amazing without being a celebrity or in your own little world, your own little space okay that is what we teach on this channel that you do not have to have a huge budget you don't have to be a celebrity to look amazing just take care of yourself at home and when you do that in your own little space with using just the simple ingredient that you have around you and voila do it on the regular and before you know it you're on your way to looking amazing at whatever age you are okay all right now if you are practicing the facial massages and you're on the chat feel free to comment also is there something that you personally do that you are seeing great results that you'd like to share with us so feel free to share okay all right um, Donna Anderson, facial massages and exercises do work. You have to be constant and it works. And that is exactly what I'm trying to tell you guys, that it do work. As a matter of fact, if you just wash your face um, on a regular and do the facial massages day, two, three, four times a week, you are going to look good. Your face is going to look good. You're going to have that plumpness going on. You're going to look amazing just by repeating. And everything you do, you got to put effort into it. If you start a business and you do not put effort into it, it's not going to grow. Whatever you do, you got to put a little effort into it. And that is just the same way in taking care of yourself some people tend to just give up on themselves like just be comfortable in you know their environment and in their situation and before you know it they're looking at other people and they're like oh what is that she's doing why she's looking amazing or they're idolizing other people that look amazing and this is something you need to stop i'm not saying not to idolize people not to have your favorite celebrities not to you know look at people but look at yourself 
take a look at yourself and see what is it you are doing for you. Okay, so Gigi is wearing her hair purple. I kind of like it. Can I wear my hair purple? Of course you can. All right, so these are the things that you need to do. Just step out of your comfort zone and step into another world. Women need to rise up and take care of themselves because there's so many many of us out there that just just give up just give up no what is there to life to done to live it you gotta live life life is short anyway okay life is short anyway and if you're alive and if you're living why not just enjoy it and feel free to go out do some activities like get out of the house walk around go watch a play depending on where you live i do know that different environment you know different people different situations but whatever it is available in your area put your clothes on one day and get out of the house do something fun take the kids to the park take the kids for a walk just do something so that you could feel that you are actually living and i'm actually talking to some of us who tend to just stay home and do nothing and just give up like you know okay i'm i'm cool i'm okay you know life is okay as it is no do something and you're gonna be blown away do you ever notice that i know guys I'm talking a lot today. Do you ever notice some people in a relationship and they are looking just regular, just down and depressing, looking all the time? And the moment that relationship ends, that person just wake up and start to do things. They go to the gym and they're like, you know, getting a new hairstyle done because they're now back on the market. They're now they, they know how they are and want to look and feel good. I'm here to tell you that even if you're married for 20 years, you still need to have that energy. You still need to have that desire to look and feel good. And I don't want to take this to, you know, the topics that you guys are requesting, but you guys understand what I am saying. Okay. So that vibrancy, that energy that you have when the relationship is over, still have it while the relationship is going on. And guess what? Maybe the relationship would still be there if you continue with that energy. I'm stopped. I'm going to stop right now. We're going back to what to do to take, get care, take care of the skin, getting rid of wrinkles, fine lines, and having the skin looking fresh. But you also know that happiness shines, guys. When you are happy, it just protrude, and you really need that happiness also to have your skin looking amazing and free from all of the wrinkles and fine lines. Laughter, when you laugh, your skin will look amazing. Naomi Abi Abiki, may you look so young and beautiful chichi i'm 50 can i use your remedies of course why you think they are there just use them on a regular find the one that you think is geared towards your skin find the ones that you have the ingredient find the ones that you know that geared toward the issue that you have on your skin and just play around with them hello lucy how are you oh my goodness i lost track of time I see you are late. I wonder what you were doing, Lucy. Black girl, you look great. Thank you for your channel. And thank you so much. One player. Hey, here comes one player again. You were on a couple of weeks. And that is why when people come on the channel and they tend to really get rude, sometimes I just, you know, overlook it and I don't get to... It worked up because here comes one player being decent today. And if you have been on the chat, you know the, the, the entrance that this person made on the channel. Welcome and thank you for joining in. Michelle S., you're beautiful. Thank you. Elizabeth Lasoso, happy Sunday, Chichi, and everyone. You look stunning, my dear, as always. Thanks for that. Sandra Levy, how are you doing? And we have um, Henri. H-A-N-R-Y 1991. Hello, how are you from Turkey? Please, let's chat. What? Um, oh, you're trying to be rude. Um, and I'm not even going to finish reading it. No, we are going to talk because this is a live chat. And that is why I am here to talk. All right. But anyway, as I said, I'm not getting too 
too rude or too feisty with you guys when you come on and you do your little feisty comment because sometimes you tend to come back and watch. So welcome. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Zara, good morning, beautiful. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. I was not taking much care of myself. And this is it's IHTZ. And see what I mean? There are so many. And these are things that I don't share, which I think I need to start sharing. When we come on this chat, and we talk for a half an hour to 30 minutes, guys. Sometimes you guys don't know the magnitude of people out there that tend to write in, in emails. And maybe I could have a full show just reading emails about people way, you know, far out and beyond that writing to say, you changed my life. I was home. I was just depressed. I was just, you know, at a place where I feel like, this is me. This is my life. And you came on and you share all these amazing, simple tips and I'm using them. I feel alive. I am now going out. I'm now feeling, you know, happy with the way I look. You would be blown away, guys, at the amount of emails that I receive. And that is why I still come on and it doesn't matter. I know that sometimes, you know, People tend to criticize what, you know, we do and the simple things we make, but it is helping and that is what I'm here for. If I could just have one person to feel better about themselves, then this is not in vain. So that is my goal to continue to share and to, to energize and to motivate people to take care of themselves. If you agree with me, feel free to comment. And also, guys, I am here to take your tips on how we could better this channel, how we can make it more effective, how we can, you know, reach out to more people, especially you young people sending in all these crazy emails. Guys, you don't understand. I know the topic is a little off today, guys. You don't understand how many of our young people out there writing in with so many issues that we probably can't even discuss on this chat. It's not about just Chichi Beauty making all these remedies and posting it. It's about what goes on behind the scenes. Guys, you would be blown away if I just come and show you and share things with you. So this is basically like a front right now, but behind, behind, there are so many people out there that are benefiting from just the simple take some avocado, whip it up in the blender and add some amazing oils to it and apply it to your face. As simple as that. It sounds simple. The recipe is easy, but the effect that it has on some people is priceless and let me talk more about getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines and keeping the skin clear and fresh looking at all ways. I exfoliate my skin at least two to three times a week. No joke. Most time when I make uh, a facial scrub for you guys, that is what I use on my face. So if I am sharing like the one with the avocado peel, that is what I use this week. So whatever I share is what I use. I do, however, now use a lot of rice. That purple rice, I use it a lot for my facial scrub. I blend it, I add other stuff to it, and sometimes I even mix it with a little bit of a brown sugar and I use it on my face. I don't bring all the scrub that I made on the channel because some ingredient I know is not available to some people. However, if you do not have purple rice, don't be um, alarm, just use the rice you have. I used to preach that the purple, that regular all rice was rice, but I learned differently now. And the more I learn as I go along, I share it with you. The purple rice and the black rice have more um, properties that's geared towards skincare than the white rice, but the white rice is still amazing. If you miss my Friday show, go ahead and watch it after you're done. And you're going to see the difference I laid all out with the difference in the rice and stuff like that. So if you missed that show, try to watch it. Delabio, um, you are Bob Chichi. Love your channel. Love your Aurora, sis. Thanks for all um, you teach. And thank you so much for your comments. Susan Crawford, you go, oh girl. I have a cousin who used to say that a lot. 
Hello, Sharon. How are you? All right. So we are talking. All right. So let's say, um, ignore all the negative response. You have helped so much. And I am 62 years old. And my son said, Omar, I notice a difference in your face a lot. And that is what we are talking about. We are talking about people, you know, getting the benefit of these simple remedies that we share on this channel. Vinetta, thanks for your good work. Um, your face is beautiful. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So back to talking about, you know, tips on how to have your skin looking fresh. And I suggest that you do the facial exercise. And I put that on the top so that you all know that you have to practice it and click on my face and go on my channel. You're going to see some awesome facial exercises that I videos that I made, but I don't want to be selfish. They are some other YouTubers that make great videos on this channel um, for lifting and firming using facial exercises and facial massages. So you can actually look at some of those too, because they are amazing. All right. So exfoliating the skin. I do that two to three times a week. Sometimes I do it a little more. Sometimes I do it a little less depending on what is going on during the week. But I always, I always say if there's one thing that you do to your skin, you exfoliate the skin because that is what's going to get rid of the dead skin cells. And also it's going to get rid of all the grease from the environment. And it's just going to reveal fresh looking skin. Now, once you do that, you definitely should try a facial mask. I do a facial mask. Well, you must know that I do it every week, two to three times, because I do make facial mask video every week. So I use whatever I made. Now, the facial um, overnight uh, mask that I post this morning using the avocado, that is so amazing, guys. And I'm not just saying that because I make it. I am just saying that because I use it and I it's really, really good. You need to give it a try if you have the ingredient that is. If you could get that fresh avocado, I suggest you do it. The ingredients in that mask is an overnight mask, is rice and avocado. Now I kind of semi boil the rice. When you boil the rice, don't overcook. You want to still lock some of the 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 ingredient the moisture not the moisture the the benefits the vitamins and minerals you want to lock a bit of it if you overcook it it's all gone okay so kind of half boil the rice not too much 10 minutes is good and then you take it out you put it with the avocado make sure it's cooled and you blend that up and then you add all of your favorite oils in it rose water whatever oil you have that you like you don't have to use the ones i use i get cursed out on that video someone was saying that i use way too much expensive oil but you could clearly see that person don't really watch the channel much because i always be like use what you have okay you don't have to use three four find one special oil and you know what i call special oil like the cake oil the rose hip oil and all of that and use like a grapeseed oil, or olive oil, or a coconut oil, and just blend that in, and it's amazing. If you are all fun and game, give it a try next week. Come back and tell me what you think. It's an overnight mask. You use it when you're going to your bed, and you wake up and you rinse it off. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You store it in the refrigerator. All right, so that's I use a facial mask. Now, for me, because I am getting on in age, what my skin requires is lifting and firming and getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines. So I use a lot of clay mask on my face because I'm looking to tighten my skin. Now, if you are not at the stage where you're looking to tighten and firm, you use you need to use like hydrating facial mask, okay? Those that is refreshing and also mask a sheet, the liquid that you just place over, like those are the ones you use. But if you're looking to tighten and firm, you use mostly the clay mask base. And Fuller's Earth is good or any clay mask. Now, you hear it all the time, I'm into this purple mask. I'm just telling you what I am doing right now. And I go through stages. Someone was like, I am so overwhelmed. There are way too much videos on the show. But guess what? 
you got to find something that is geared towards you. Not every video I post is for everyone. And once you understand it's not every video for everyone, then you will know, find one. Watch all the videos though, right? Watch everything, but then you pick out what is suitable for your skin. Or I might make something and it was like, mm, like that avocado um, overnight mask. You're like, mm, I got to try that one. And that's the way you go about it, okay? All right, so I do that. And this is my skin. It's I have makeup on today. And I am still a little tired, even though I slept all morning long. But this is my face right now. And no, it's no Botox. All I did was what I was doing earlier, lifting and firming just before I came on. All right? And applied the makeup. Um, broken Brooke Gideon. Thanks, Chichi, for all that you do. I'm almost 40 and have the confidence to love my skin and love myself with your help. Thank you. And thank you so much for that comment. There, these are the comments that I really want to hear. I know you have to have bad and you have to have good, but people need to, you know, you know, say that it's helping if it is really helping. Hello, Rita. How are you? I just that Chichi. How oh, are you, Rita? Hello, Pauline C. How oh, are you doing? And we also have the Better Talk Show. I see. Um, rose hip oil addiction. <laughs> I think you're just throwing words on me because you know I go crazy about the rose hip oil. The rose hip oil is really, I get like so such good result from the rose hip oil. If you miss the Friday show, I am currently using a few oils on my skin daily and I share them with you guys. And let me read for it. Oops. What I'm currently using is the papaya seed oil. I'm currently using the cacao oil and I'm also using the, the bachi oil. And somebody mentioned it earlier and it just went by. And I'm currently using vitamin C on my skin. And this one was sent to me. And I am loving it. And I've been sharing with you guys because I've been using it. And I am supposed to be making a video on this. But as usual, it was sent to me. And I want to try it. And I have it now for about two months or more. And it's it's really good. I'm going to share that with you very soon for those of you who might be interested in a natural vitamin C serum. All right. So those are the things I am using on my skin and to have my skin looking amazing. Now, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about serums and lotions. And um, yes, I said lotion. And the reason why I mentioned lotion, because we don't talk about lotion, body lotion, that is. Do you know that you need to lotion your skin, especially for those with dry skin? All right. If you lotion your entire body, you spend the time to lotion or oil. Since I like a lot of oil, I put oil in my lotion <laughs> believe it or not yes i'm like the oil junkie i like oils okay so i put oil in my lotion lotion your entire skin all right you don't want to have your face looking gorgeous all right and then i'm not going to take my clothes off god and then when you see the rest of your body it's it just don't match the face it's wrong okay why is that not that you are doing anything to the skin, it's just that the rest of the body might need to be exfoliated. And we're talking about how to look amazing and fresh looking skin. Not only your face need to look fresh looking, the rest of your body, the part that nobody is seeing, still need to look good because you see it, okay? Always remember guys, that the rest of your body that no one is seeing, you see it. So when you take your clothes off, you see what is there. And if you see your face looking all sweet and dandy and the rest of your face, your body looking all crusty looking, you know you need to do something. You need to get yourself a pack of brown sugar or some white sugar and put some oil in it, whatever oil you have in your kitchen and get in your shower and exfoliate the entire body. Focus on these areas. And I have a nasty habit, guys. And I'm going to tell you why it's a nasty habit. I look at people a lot, which is it's a nasty habit. Because sometimes I see, especially, um, I'm not going to even say young teenagers. But yeah, some young people sometimes, you see them and they look amazing. The hair is all done nicely. And the clothes is all nice. 
you know, and it's a little off. You, you understand what I'm saying? I ate that. I really and truly ate that. Like, it's so gross looking. Gotta exfoliate, get some sugar and a little piece of lemon and go in the top and scrub it, you know. And for adults too, you got to take care of that part of the body so that when you're out there and you all might define and you're looking amazing, you could like see someone across the room and you could actually be like, hey, come over here without feeling embarrassed. Okay, take care, take care. And neck, guys, when it comes down to the neck, some people can't show the neck, you know? I'm trying to show you all my body parts today, okay? Some people can't show the neck. Guess why? They forget the neck. And then when it starts to sag, then they start to complain that, oh, my neck is sagging, blah, blah, blah. Can you imagine the neck looking all crusty looking? And then the sag come on, like the sagging and the neck. No, 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 no. I always tell you, don't forget the neck and the décolleté. Use the same scrub on your face to exfoliate the neck. And I'm talking about all my subscribers watching. I have, my, I have most of my subscribers between the ages of 18, 18 to 65, I think, upwards. That's the bulk of my subscribers, mostly. So guess what? I'm referring to those that do have the crusty looking neck exfoliate the neck you cannot have your face nicely make up and your neck is looking awful all right and an easy way to do that is not rocket science if you don't have the sugar or you know whatever it said to exfoliate the neck with get a wash rug some of you guys don't show with a wash rug but a wash rug is amazing guys and i'm going to tell you why because it's helped to exfoliate the skin if you don't exfoliate your skin and you use a wash rug it's going to take care of all of that and it's a no joke give it a try if you don't use a wash rug not the bad sponge that will scrape your skin you know those fluffy ones that you want to get all those suds from that one is gonna really mess up your skin if you're not careful so just use a wash rug and each time you take a shower you rub your neck with it and you're on your way we're going back it's all about looking good and having fresh skin guys not only your face so i'm not strain from the topic okay all right let me go back to the question lucy jewelry tend to mark the skin too dark blackish gray looking yes 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 and that is why i do not recommend sleeping in jewelry regardless of the price whether it is synthetic oh they are synthetic what they call it again when it's not real okay whether it's fake jewelry or real jewelry whether you spend a dollar on it or you spend ten thousand dollars on it i suggest to take it off i do not sleep in jewelry because of those same issues. You go home, you take your jewelry off. Not everyone do that. To each his own. I'm just saying that's my practice. I don't like to sleep, especially necklace. I don't, I don't want anything on my neck when I'm sleeping, okay? So that can cause and do a number on your neck. So be mindful of that. Um, okay, so um, Chichi, I thought I was the only one to add my... Um, Escarin, that is a lotion. I have to because I have dry skin and get worse in the um, colder weather. Yes, I do add oil to the lotion. If you have a good oil, a special oil, and you want to keep that regular lotion up or not, you can actually go to the store, guys. This is no joke. If you have like the nice oils that I call special oils, like the Oba oil and also the rosehip oil, and you go to the store, you could buy any regular cheap lotion and when you get home you just put a little bit of this special oil in that lotion that lotion is priceless and once you add these oils to it then you couldn't even buy it yourself because now it would be like a really expensive lotion the ingredients that they use in some of these lotion are minimal even though it might list like Oh, vitamin C rich, blah, 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 blah. It's a little bit, okay? So you need to add more stuff to it to make it be stronger and, you know, reap the amazing benefits. So always be mindful of that. Amina Ramley, rosehip oil is the truth. No joke. And see, someone else swear by the rosehip oil. Claudette Reynolds, what clay mask would you recommend? I like to use any form of a clay mask. For me right now, I am using purple clay 
I know, I know. Not everyone have access to the purple clay. You could get it on Amazon, though. I will try to put the link below. But any green clay mask, okay? And you have a lot of um, beauty um, products out there with clay mask using the green. Also, the cheapest of the cheapest one, which I use on this channel a lot, is the Fuller's Earth. And that is also a clay mask. Now, when you get your clay at home, choose water-based stuff to add to it, like rose water, green tea, or even some fresh aloe vera, and you mix it up. Do not add oil. If you add oil, just a drop or two, because then it's not going to be spreading on the face. I make my own clay mask, to be honest. I make my own because I like to, you know, be a little extra with my mask but i do buy the powder purple clay and the green clay and it's out there you can get it to buy but if you don't have you know the means and way of getting the fresh the clay um powder to buy then get yourself a clay mask in a store now there are different different kinds of masks okay they're going to tell you it's for different things so if you're looking for wrinkles and fine lines then you find one like that okay so just you know play around with the clay mask Thank you, Brooke Gibbon, for your um, donation. And that is Super Chat, guys. If you're watching and you want to contribute, you could hit the Super Chat button, that dollar sign, and you could contribute something to the channel. So that is what Brooke Gideon has just did. I don't normally talk about it, but it is there for you to use if you want to use it. Jackie Mom, I want to add that I bought the Irish Spring Soap that have charcoal in it. Okay, so I guess now they are having... Charcoal. I'm I'm yet to see that one, so I guess I will have to look. That is amazing. Nothing is wrong with that. Give it a use. Come back and let us know how it works on your face. Now, how long do you leave the clay on until it is dry, Rita? Do not get rid of it from your face until it dry on the skin, and even when it dries. So I suggest depends on the thickness of the mask when you apply it on your skin. You need to be at least thirty between thirty to forty minutes is gonna dry on the skin, but definitely do not rinse off until the mask is dry on the skin. That is how you're gonna reap the best benefit. Asifa, how to brighten and lighten the skin. To brighten and lighten the skin, we have an amazing show on Friday where we introduce some new ingredient like the Kojek and um, we also talk about the um, licorice and those are some natural ingredients that is an alternative to hydroquin. So if you want, you could go and watch that Friday show, Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. And we have some great tips on how to brighten and lighten the skin on that particular show. All right. So, um, okay, Lucy, after you finish your shower, rub your body with the washcloth to remove the dead skin, then rinse again. And you are talking my tune. See what I mean? So someone else on the chat know exactly what I'm talking about when I suggest to use a wash rod. Okay, so... Um, we're back into talking about taking care of the skin. If you're on the chat, what is it that you use on your skin to have it looking fresh and nice? Naomi, um, Ign okay, I read that. So let me go sc scroll down. Okay, guys, so keep the comments coming. The box is below. Also, if you're still watching, which I could see you're still watching and you have not yet hit the, the like button, feel free to click on it, thumbs it up to let us know that you are enjoying the topic today. Constant, hello, Constant, how are you? Um, almond oil, yes, that's another oil that I use. I use almond oil, I use coconut oil, and I also use my grapeseed oil, which I really, really love. I use less grapeseed oil in the winter time, but if you live somewhere where it's warm all the time, then definitely, you know, use it. I have dry skin. My skin tends to dry out in the winter. So I like to use the coconut oil and the olive oil more so. The almond oil, we use. I use all of those oils as carrier oils, okay? Carrier oils, I mean, I had stuff to those oil. Now, when it comes down to vitamin A, which I use a lot also, it's very, very strong. You cannot apply vitamin A. You're not supposed to apply vitamin A oil directly to your skin. It's really strong. So you need a carrier oil. So I would squeeze some vitamin A oil in like the the grapeseed oil or the coconut oil or the olive oil, depending on the time of year that is. And if you want me to talk, do a full video 
and vitamin A guys, feel free to send the request in. So those are some of the tips and those are some of the, the stuff that I personally do for my skin to have my skin looking young and fresh daily. Now let's keep it real guys. Does my skin look amazing at all times? Nope, nope. How is it that your skin don't look amazing at all times and you use all of these wonderful remedies on the skin? It don't look amazing at all times because of I'm human, environment, my whole body, I can be stressed out. There's so many factors that could contribute to my skin not looking good at all times. Now, with that said, I'm just telling you that because your skin is not going to look great at all times, you will have to take care of it at all times for it to look amazing. Okay. So the moment you stop taking care of your skin, it's going to like go downhill. Nothing is permanent. And even if you go out there, you get yourself some Botox or you do the procedure where you lift the skin and have your face looking like this, it is not permanent. Okay, it's gonna sag after a while, and just just how this natural remedy works. So if I spend two three weeks and I do nothing, eventually my face is gonna start looking bad. Bad. So definitely, whatever you do, you got to do it on a regular. Okay. Now, if you are still watching, let's take this thumbs up to fifty four. If you're liking the chat today, if you like the topic give the video a thumbs up if you want us to do more of these you know really in details like basically interacting with you guys give the video a thumbs up okay change of the weather and times of the month for some woman okay all right yes 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 okay oh jay duchess i did not okay here's your comment i use vitamin e oil on my skin and that one oil guys if you have to get one special oil in your collection i suggest you get vitamin e because that is like the foundation oil for the special oils almost every skincare product that you're gonna go out there and purchase do have a bit of a vitamin e oil in it so one oil that is you know, a must for your oil collection is vitamin E oil because you could mix it with almost every single remedy that I post. And not only that you could mix it, but because it is amazing. It is really good. And that is one you can also use directly on the skin. Might be mindful that vitamin E does come in different grades. Okay. You have like from 4,000 IU all the way up to like 40, 50, 60 IU. So the, the, the higher the IU is the thicker the vitamin E oil is. I tend to settle on a, like a 28,000 IU, which is pretty thick. And that is the one that I use to mix with other ingredient, other carrier oil. Now, if you buy a 4,000 I use vitamin E oil, which is tend to be a little cheaper that you could just use directly on your skin. You do not need to add anything, a carrier oil with that. But once you get up into the 20,000 upwards, I you definitely mix it with a carrier oil because it's not going to blend on the skin. The 28,000 I you is a little thick, so it's not going to be spreadable. But once you mix it with another oil, then it is good. So be mindful when you are buying your vitamin E oil, but definitely either the oil or the capsule is good to have in your collection. And if you have to have one, that's the one you have. Now, Chichi, I don't have any access to vitamin e oil don't worry don't worry most of the oils most of those carrier oils do have a bit of a, a vitamin e the grapeseed oil is loaded with vitamin e okay so you can use a car almond oil contain vitamin e so if you see where i'm going with this no excuse absolutely no excuse not to take care of your skin and use an amazing oil on the skin okay um i just saw oh Anne marie brian hi hello how are you have you used the rice bran oil no i have not but thanks for that heads up i definitely will look into it 
which I normally do when someone suggests something new. All right, oof art. I use a 400 grit. I think, oh, four, um, 400, I think, what country are you from? Grit? All right, um, I'm not familiar with that term. And on it, I always get the 30,000 IU. So here you go. Now you could see other people are aware of the difference in IU. And if you notice some of my videos, whenever I'm using the vitamin E oil, I'll always make sure to tell you guys that, you know, this is the amount I'm using. If you're using a different amount of IU, then you know how to play around with it. Lucy Santiago, can I use vitamin E oil on my face to massage it? Yes, and I think you probably have asked that question before I went into details about the difference in the vitamin E oil. Different IU, either you're going to mix it or you're going to use it directly on the skin. Mary Cod, or K Cod, K-A-D, C-A-D, sorry. Of you must have rough skin. All right, for those of you with rough skin, guess what, guys? The best way to start out is to exfoliate the skin with a good scrub. Whether you're going to use my scrub that I made on this channel or you're going to go to the store and you're going to get a scrub to buy, okay? Now, there's a scrub that I grew up using, St. Ives. Um, I could always say that they're almond scrub, and I always, always use that for years and years and years and years. It's pretty cheap. I know I'm dealing with people from all over the world. Some people might not have access to that, but use whatever is in your country. What I notice when I travel, like when I travel, I tend to look for things that is made in that country. So I'm normally in the pharmacy or whatever they call it, wherever the place is. And I normally in the skincare aisles. And the reason for that is because I like to see what is geared towards that country. And you sometimes find some amazing finds, like things that you know nothing about. You see some unusual facial scrubs, some unusual hair oil, some unusual just body stuff that they would make in that country that they don't export. Those are what I search for. So when I'm on my channel and I like suggest something, most of the time it's going to be because I'm in America and this is what is available to me. But you're going to use whatever is available available to you in your country. So if we're talking about oil, and let's say I'm talking about, let's say papaya seed oil, and you don't have that in your country, you're going to have another oil. So everyone has something that they use. And you might have an oil that I know nothing about, which carry the same properties of the oils that I get here to buy. So use whatever you have in your country. And when you come on the chat, don't keep it a secret. Feel free to share it with us so that I could go, like someone just um, um, mentioned the barn oil i know nothing about that and i am gonna go research it when i'm done now when i come on and i'm making videos i could also said like this oil you can substitute it depending on where you live so feel free guys to share 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 don't feel like you're left out because you don't have cocaine oil you're gonna have something else in your country that is in abundant and that is readily available to you. And that is how we want you to watch my videos and that's how we want to take it. All of my videos, you could tweak it to custom it to yourself, custom it to what you have available. Some things are not replaceable, but some things are, especially the oils. They, you could really, really play around with the oil. Sometimes I post videos and people like, um, what can I use to substitute, you know, certain things? Like if I make a video with avocado, what can I use to substitute the avocado? And I would be like, mm, that's a, like a tough one, but find something that you think, get a peach or something. It's not a substitute because it don't have the omega. And I tend to go by the properties of the ingredient. But when it comes on to oils, the sky is the limit because most oils are vitamin E, if you get my drift, okay? All right, so we are moving on. If you're just joining in, we are really chit-chatting today. We're all over the place. We're talking about taking care of the skin, how to have your skin free from wrinkles, and how to have it clear and just 
just radiant looking and we're not only talking about the face but we're also talking about the entire body all right mary blessing is 500 iu oil too strong to apply directly to the skin and that is actually perfect to apply directly to the skin 4000 5000 is perfect to apply directly on the skin okay all right um Rita, I make coffee scrub with the coconut oil. Rita, that is actually a really amazing one. I just use that one too. Guys, if you have access to coffee, now let's talk about wrinkles and coffee, guys. If you have access to coffee beans, and the reason why I'm going to mention coffee beans or ground coffee, because some grocery you could get the ground coffee to buy, okay? that is what you're going to use that is an amazing amazing if you don't want to use like sugar if you don't want to use like the baking soda definitely coffee is a good base but not only that the coffee has amazing properties that is going to help with the wrinkles and fine lines so use up your coffee oil your coffee beans and also your 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 coffee in your facial you know whatever it's mask and stuff like that do not use um, flavored coffee. That is why I prefer to go with the beans. But if you don't have a blender, you could buy the ground coffee. Do not buy flavored coffee for your face. That is something added to the coffee, okay? So buy the plain beans. And even when you're buying the beans, if it's said, uh, because like in my grocery, you could get coffee where it's like, almond flavored but it's the beans you don't want that you want the plain old coffee non-flavored coffee that's the one you're going to use and the reason i suggest the beans is because you could blend it and you could get it fresh and you can have that granules to use now if you make a batch of coffee in your coffee maker and it's not the flavored coffee after you brew that coffee, what is left, you can actually use that to make a facial scrub. So you're getting a double whammy from the coffee. You drink it and there's this trash for sale. You use it as a facial scrub. Just add some coconut oil or your favorite oil to it. And guess what, guys? That is one that is amazing for your entire body. Use it to exfoliate the neck, the armpit, and you know the rest going on downwards, and you are gonna be amazed. Now we are gonna talk about the ants, our ants. You know, we could talk a little bit about that. I have terrible dry ants, and for those of you who always, always watch, you know sometimes my ants look really crusty on the channel. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not even aware of that until the video is like I'm editing and I'm like, oh my goodness, check my hands out. And that, sorry, I'm sweating. That is because I tend to wash, wash my hands a lot. When it comes down to my hands, I think I'm a little OCD, no joke. I wash like I'm constantly washing, washing, washing. And my hands, because of that, is always dry. Now, when I'm making a video, let's say I grate let's say I grate some lemon zest and I got to go and I rinse that out. My hands is dry. So in order for my hands to look amazing on the camera, I would have to have, you know, little oil beside me and constantly rubbing before I go to the next step. And sometimes I get carried away because you might not believe it, but I really and truly enjoy making these things for you. When I'm not in the mood to make it, it comes across on the camera. I like to be in the mood and I like when I make that, you know, and I'm applying it to my skin, you know, I'm feeling good. So sometimes I'm so carried away. I don't care about the way my hands look because that is not, you know, at the time my aim, my aim is just to make it, but it is important to take care of your hands. You don't want your face to look amazing and your hands look Looking bad. I have some amazing remedies on this. Exfoliate your hands. Quick trick, which is pretty easy. You can exfoliate your hands as often as you do your face. Because what you do when you apply it to your skin, you just take it and you just exfoliate your hands right there. Don't forget to just use it on your hands. Also, when you apply facial mask to your face, guys, Use the same mask and apply it to your hands and you're going to reap the same benefit. But don't ignore your hands because they will look 
disgusting like when I make some of my videos and I don't moisturize my hands okay yes I'm preaching to myself too so always remember use a little oil or use a little lotion if you have to wash for all of you nurses out there hello Pauline and you know you're constantly washing 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 you need to have some good old oil that you make up mix it put it in a bottle carry it in your bag and keep applying it to your hands so that your face look as your hands look as amazing as your face exfoliate your hands at least three times a week just the way you do to your face and you are on your way to looking amazing your skin free from wrinkles your hands free from wrinkles let's see what mine look like this is the part that i have the most trouble with oh here you see <laughs> look at that it's even crusty right now see what i mean right here i have the most trouble with on my hands i'm not ashamed to show you guys right here so when i am moisturizing my hands like today i just put a little thing and i run in here because i woke up so late triple see it don't work like that you got to make sure you rub it in you know what i mean rub it in rub your hands make sure in and out and you know Take care of your hands, please, please, please. And I'm talking to myself too today to always remember to take care of my hands. I do exfoliate and all of that, but my issue is dry hands, constantly washing, and I constantly have to be moisturizing my hands. So they sometimes look really bad. Andrea Wright, can you tell me what is the best oil to use with the coffee bean? Coconut oil. Oh, Krita just said it, coconut oil. If you are not all fun and game with the coconut oil, olive oil, especially if you have dry skin. But for me, I find the best oil is the coconut oil with the coffee, ground coffee that is amazing. And guess what, guys? With that coffee um, and coconut oil, you can also add some fresh aloe vera to the coconut oil and the coffee and just use that to exfoliate your skin amazing 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 easy you get tired of using the brown sugar turn to the coffee because the coffee the brown sugar is good to get rid of all the dead skin cells on the skin and lighten and brighten and freshen that skin but the coffee is going to do double duty because the coffee helps to get rid of the wrinkles on the fine lines on the skin you can also you make a coffee mask and i have some of those on my channel and when you make your coffee scrub you can reap more benefit by just leaving after you exfoliate leave it on about 10 minutes before you rinse it off and you're gonna reap even more benefits from using the coffee on your skin definitely a, tr a must try guys use it this week and come back next week and leave a comment if you have not yet tried the coffee on your skin now miss netoya um avoid acid product on the hands and use glove or glove powder yes guess what i am not good with gloves i have packs and packs of gloves around me at all times no joke i i just don't know like all right, if I have to be elsewhere where a glove is required, then I definitely will use the glove. But at home, I just don't know why I cannot get into using the gloves. And it is important, like as I shared with you about my aunt, if I was using the gloves, it would be so really, you know, good for me. But I cannot remember to use the gloves. And sometimes I even take it out and I start and I just like take it off. Like I'm not feeling the grip and all of that. But I know that's good advice and I'm gonna really try my best to practice to use the gloves. Now, Donna, is raw sugar okay to use? Yes, and they use the word raw sugar like, sh oh, if I say it the other way around, then, then I'm gonna be talking about the brand. So let me just keep it as raw sugar. Now what she's calling raw sugar, raw sugar is the first, it's always processed. Okay, because sugar, the first stage is um, molasses, okay? Or molasses is what is left, is just the first stage. But anyway, 
they're saying raw, but it's the first process that is, is put in the machine to create the granules. That's the first part. Now, the sugar is always, our sugar start to brown, okay? That's raw sugar. And that's why we use brown sugar. After that process, it goes through several different processes and then it ends up looking white. So a lot of people want to turn to brown sugar because they think that it's less a process. It is considered raw sugar. Now, you really do not lose much. I use the brown sugar because it is softer. That's the reason why I use a lot of brown sugar in my recipe. It's softer than the white sugar for the skin. And that's, you know, you need something softer on the skin. But if you have the white sugar, that's fine. So raw sugar is really brown sugar. And anywhere you're going to see raw sugar, you're going to notice it's brown. And because of the process, just like when we talk about the olive oil, or the coconut oil, or any of these amazing oils, and I normally tell you guys to get the first press, the cold press, the unrefined, that is the same thing with the sugar. So raw sugar is like, would be like the first press or the unrefined. I hope I make that clear. So yeah, go ahead and use up that sugar on your skin. How old are you, madame? We get that every week. I am as old as I feel. All right, someone on the chat is going to tell you my age. Somebody volunteer that answer, please, please. All right, since I talk about it so much. All right, happy birthday, Jackie. And Jackie, mom, yesterday was my birthday. My daughter took me to the Cheesecake Factory in White Plains. Can you wish me? Of course, of course, of course. Cheesecake Factory up there in the Bronx. Hello, Jackie, mom. Uh, let's wish um, Jackie Mama happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jackie Mom. Happy birthday to you. I hope you had a wonderful time. What flavor cheesecake did you have? All right. Um, tongue, I'm tongue. This is very difficult to pronounce. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. We are serious. All right, Elizabeth, and now we are all wishing Jackie Mom. That's what I love about my subscribers. You're like, you know, once you're, you know, you get to go, you're all in. So, Jackie Mom, we hope you had a wonderful time. And send me an email. We might do a little something for you. Chichabeauty at gmail.com. You're right up there in the Bronx, so that's pretty easy for me. Send me an email and let us just, you know, continue the birthday spirit. All right. So Peggy Ballard, how often should you steam your face? And that's another question. That's a very good question. Now I'm sitting up in my chair now that I'm hearing about steam in the face. Two weeks ago, we actually talked about steam in the face on Let's talk skincare with Chichi Beauty. So I figure you were watching that watching that show. I suggest no more than once a week. Once a week or once every two weeks is really, really good. You don't have to be often, okay? So between once a week, if you're just starting out, once a week is good. After you really get into, you know, taking care of your skin, once every two weeks, what you do when you steam the face, you are actually opening up the pores a little bit and clearing it from the grease and the dirt. And for those of you with oily skin, steaming the face is recommended, okay? It's really good to steam the face at least once every two weeks if you have oily skin. But I suggest to begin once a week and after that, you know, once every two weeks. And if you don't know uh, what we're talking about, steam in the face is where you get like a bowl. And this is the easiest way to do it. Get a bowl of hot water. You bend your face over it. You probably cover your head with a towel and let the steam just go up on your face. And after that, I like to steam and then exfoliate. Some people exfoliate and then steam. I steam first because I think it's open the pores. And then when you exfoliate, it helps to further clear everything that you didn't get out with the steam. And your face is going to feel fresh and amazing. Try it, guys. It's no joke. Make sure the water is not too warm now, hot. And, you know, you know how this how much you could take if you go closer to it it's going to be a warmer so go as close as 
you're comfortable with. You can also get your face steam professionally if you have the money, but I think it's a waste of money. So, you know, do it at home for yourself if you, you know, have the time for that. And um, it's good. It's definitely going to have your face feeling fresh. As a matter of fact, when you, if you have ever gone and get yourself a facial and when you're done, your face feels so revitalized and all of that, then definitely um, steam the face and you're going to get that same feeling when you're done. Once you steam and you do a facial scrub and, you know, then you massage your face, you're going to get that amazing feeling Um when you're done so good 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 billard how often should okay so that's what i just read and um okay mistress natoya what would you say to someone who don't understand face care at first step and i did a show recently with that but i'm gonna go through for you like really really fast what i would say to you to do is you have three basic things that you need to do for your face. You have to wash your face, you have to exfoliate the skin, and you have to use a facial moisturizer. That's the basic, basic, basic. So if you're new to skincare, and I suggest you watch my Let's Start Skincare, not last Saturday, not last Friday, but Friday before, and you're gonna get a full layout on that topic. I went from basic, all the way up and I teach you how to layer it and everything. So when you're done, you watch that video. Let's talk skincare with Chichi Beauty two Fridays ago. Um, I'm, I'm not sure of the date, but it's two Friday. And there's a playlist, you'll find it on the channel. But the three simple step is wash your face, exfoliate the skin and moisturize, okay? So when you wash, twice per day you exfoliate at least twice per week and you always morning and evening a.m and p.m use a facial moisturizer and when you watch that video you're gonna get the full layout of it and you're on your way to guard your skin okay i hope that out all right and um if i didn't just make the video i would have gone in more details for you but i know you could always go back and watch that show and you're gonna be like so happy that you mentioned it on this um channel esther dennis please how do i remove dark spot that look like tags on my feet area my feet are looking so dark than my upper body and guess what we didn't even mention the feet today and we don't mention the feet because we tend to ignore and we tend to forget that we have to take care of our feet so what i'm going to suggest to you is the same things that you use to get rid of the skin tag like mix some vinegar um that's apple cider vinegar that is with some of that banana peel that's so you know something guys when i post that remedy it sounds like what are you talking about banana peel with vinegar, apple cider vinegar? But it actually works. It actually works. It's like it's a no joke, okay? There's some that people tend to be a little skeptical about. And even me, sometimes I'm like, if I put this out there, people are going to be like, it's not going to work. But that banana peel and apple cider vinegar is really amazing. If you have facial wart, mix a little bit and pot, you know, just dip it on for a week and you're going to see something that you probably come back and say what it really works so you need to scrub your feet no joke and we all need to do that guys if you're watching some of us cannot even reach down there because we tend to gain weight and sometimes we forget but sit in a chair put your foot up if you can or get a little daughter or your Aussie or someone and scrub it up the feet most people, and this is no joke, most people do not wash their feet when they take a shower. If you wash your feet when you take a shower, raise your hands or hit the like button. <laughs> most people don't. They don't wash their feet because we tend to forget. And what is going to happen when you don't wash your feet the way you should, you are going to notice that it's going to look darker than the rest of your body. If you agree with me, comment, give the video a thumbs up, okay? Now, you got to wash your feet when you take your shower. Sometimes we're so rushy. If I'm here and I'm going to tell you that every time I take a shower, I wash my feet, I would be lying. 
Sometimes you're busy. You get in the shower and you got to rush. And you are out. But it's very important to wash your feet. Okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to make, and you can use the coffee or you could use the sugar. I suggest you use the sugar and you're going to mix some Epsom salt in the sugar. Okay? And you can exfoliate your feet. But better yet, quick and easy, get yourself a tub with some water put your feet in and if you have some conditioner any old conditioner is good any cheap conditioner and if you don't want to use a conditioner then guess what just put some little oil in there some coconut oil or whatever little oil you have and you put your feet in and you could put some salt in there if you don't have epsom salt just show some regular table salt in it and sit with your feet in there for about 15 to 20 minutes or if you have time, 30 minutes, when you remove it, then you get that sugar and some coconut oil or whatever oil and try to use that and rub your feet, especially in the ankle area and the foot bottom and go in between your toes, rinse it off. Do that. And I'm not going to say do it once a week. When you just start out once a week would be awesome, but I'm going to be realistic here. Do that at least once a month for your feet. And every time you shower, wash your feet. Here we go again with the wash rug. If you have a wash rug, wash your feet with your wash rug. It's going to get rid of all of that dirt. If you wear a lot of slippers, uh, your foot is going to be dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And depend if you live in the city and you wear like flip-flop, have you ever walked on the street and you see someone wearing a flip-flop and they're Foot bottom is as black as charcoal. And I'm not talking only black people. I'm talking everybody, regardless. Guess what? The pollution, the dirt, is going to make a number on your feet. So when you get home and you go in the shower and you just barely like, boo, 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 and you don't use a wash rack to rub that feet, guess what? It's going to look black. All right? No joke. If you agree with me, guys, raise your hand or give the video a thumbs up. Can you thumbs the video up if you're liking the topic? If you're just joining in, we're talking about skincare today, but we're all over the place. We're talking about, you know, having your face looking young and fresh, but we didn't only stop at the face. We go as far as the rest of the body. We're talking about here, the neck, and now we're all, we do the hands, and now we're all the way down to our feet. Some people find that their feet is looking a little crusty, a little darker than the rest of their body. And we are addressing that. And we're telling you that sometimes this is because we don't spend the time to wash the feet. Now, feet need to be taken care of as much as the rest of the body. Now, you can exfoliate your feet just you as you exfoliate your face. We're not saying to do it every day. Wash it every day, but exfoliate at least two to three times a month, and you are going to be blown away. Also, when it comes down to the feet, sometimes we forget to moisturize the feet. Did you guys know that you have to moisturize your feet? If you moisturize your feet, comment. If you don't moisturize your feet, comment. Especially if you're like me and you don't moisturize that feet, it's going to be crusty. It's going to be dry looking. I can't wear slippers because it's bad and I'm not joking. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you the honest truth, something that I use on my feet a lot. Some of you might already know and some of you don't now. I use a lot of Vaseline on my feet. And I'm not joking. I know sometimes people are like, oh, Vaseline, petroleum jelly, for those of you who don't want to use the word Vaseline, but petroleum jelly. However, I like to mix it with other things, like my nice oils. I like to put some avocado oil in that petroleum jelly okay i like to put a little vitamin e oil in it and i use it on my feet my feet are looking amazing now a couple of weeks ago my feet was looking disgusting no joke it's summertime slippers not exfoliating the feet as i should and my feet was getting out of hand and i had to like stop in the track and 
get my feet taken care of. So you need to spend the time on your feet. Okay, so Esther, exfoliate, soak, exfoliate, and moisturize. And do that as often as you can and come back and comment. Because I know you're going to come back and tell me that your feet is looking good. If you cannot think of what to use to exfoliate it, we have some awesome remedy on videos on the channel. So go on my channel page, just type in feet, and you're going to see some wonderful ones um, pop up. All right. Sharon Lewin, I've rocked for my feet. Now, guys, this is just a poll. And we want to see where it's going to go right now. If you're still watching, depending on where you live, I call it a washcloth, okay? Some people call it a rag. Some people call it a, um, what's the other word? Washcloth or oh, wash rag. It, depending on where you live, what do you call it? And you know what I'm talking about, a wash rag. I call it a wash rag, depending on where you live. Please comment and let us know what word you use for that thing that you use and, you know, in the shower, okay? I'm so curious to hear what people call it. Once I used the word washcloth and someone was, like, coming at me like, no, 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 you don't say that, you don't say that. I just want to know what is it that you guys call it so that when I'm talking, we could actually mix and match, um, you know, on, 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 what you guys use it. Taryn, I say wash cloth. I say wash cloth. And um, so keep, let me see what most people, most people, someone, Rita, wash rug, um, Sylvie, wash cloth, and Delio wash cloth. So I wasn't half when I use wash cloth. A lot of you do say wash cloth. Okay, so guys, that's what we're talking about when we are talking about what you use in the shower. Mississippi rag. Okay, so here we go. These brown spots, and this is Cheryl Jordan. These brown spots on my face are driving me to want to run and hide. Don't know if you talk about that. I say wash cloth. So a lot of people say wash cloth. Now, the brown spot on your face, are there... Are they age spot? When did they start, you know, um, popping up on your skin? Because in spite of the fact that we do so much to our skin, when we start to age, there's a lot of little spots that start to, you know, crop up on the skin and also little warts and stuff like that. So th these bronze spots, are they like spots that just start to appear out of nowhere, depending on your age? Or are they some spot caused from like pimples or acne or blackheads let me know if it is blackhead then i would say to exfoliate the skin so be a little more specific okay so lucy it depends on the year um you were born we used to say wash rug now we are fancy and say wash cloth oh all right so mm. i'm just checking on the year i was born to see um what is it that i I honestly think I grew up saying rag. I think I get a little fancy when I, um, yeah, pass me the rag. Yeah, I think I grew up saying rag. And I think when I came to America, I pick up this wash rag, wash cloth. I don't even know which one. But now I say wash, um, wash rag, wash cloth. I say wash cloth and I try to change it when someone was telling me not to say wash cloth on the channel. And I think I was trying to say wash rug, but I think I grew up saying just plain old rug. If you're Jamaican, tell me what you grew up saying. If it's rug, I think this wash cloth or wash rug came about later on. So you might be onto something, Lucy. You might be onto something. Jason, I use a wash glove for from Africa called Sapo, and it's amazing. So, okay, you're in France, right, Jason? So when I went to France and I was looking for a washcloth, <laughs> little old me couldn't find a washcloth. However, what I found was the wash gloves in the form of a rug. So the material was wash rug, wash cloth material, but it was in the form of a glove. So I, I know I understand where that is from. And if you guys know that one, honestly, Jason, I don't like it because I'm not used to it because I like to grab and, you know, but it's something I could get used to if it was a little bigger. But yeah, 
So I just have them in my, I bought a whole bunch of them though, because I was fascinated by it. But, um, you know, to put it on my hand, it, for me, I probably bought the wrong size. So you use uh, uh, gloves from Africa, Africa called Sapo. Anyone on the chat using Sapo, feel free to comment. Um, Okay, so Jason is saying, yes, in France, we use that. And I don't like it too. Okay, Celine, Rosari, wash gloves is also um, existent. Okay, great. And Natalia, every culture has three, their own product. People get it. All right, all right. Good, good, good. All right, um, face cloth and body sponge. All right, so you see, we're going in now, guys. I'm going to tell you something about the body sponge. The body sponge is if it's a sponge, sponge is not going to do the number as good as the washcloth, okay? No joke, because it don't, it's the softness. It don't have that exfoliating properties. The sponge is good when you want to put the shower gel and you want to get all that sod on it, but definitely the, um, the washcloth or wash rug or um, wash rug washcloth or rug is gonna give you a more nicer feel all right so vinetta is saying jamaica bat in rug all right all right so see and they even have loafers yes they have loafers and i use loafers on my feet also i actually love using the loafer on my feet because it for that person that just was talking about their feet if you have access to loafer the, um, the, you know, they make some of them nice now, like a nice little pad. That's another thing that is good after you soak your feet to use it to exfoliate your feet. That's going to have your feet really soft and amazing. And if you agree with me, guys, please say so. All right, the labio, I'm diabetic, so I always pay attention to my feet. But I also use a Himalayan pink salt scrub every Friday even. Great, great, great. I have the lamp here. I have the salt in my kitchen kitchen too. I do use the saw. I just don't talk about it on the channel, but it is amazing. And if you are not familiar with the, the saw, you can go and read it up when you are done. Cheryl Jordan, I love and like your channel. Every day I wash my feet and moisturize, and that is the way to go. Brooke, not consistency as I should. And see, we are talking the truth. People are talking the truth. Not all the time we pay attention to our feet, and that is the honest truth. And that's what makes this channel amazing because we keep it real over here, okay? We are not here on this channel to tell you that, you know, I look gorgeous all the time. I come on this channel sometime when I watch about the video, I'm like, I didn't go on the channel looking like that. Now I have a friend guys and they are more the type of person who think that coming on the channel, you need to look perfect. And they would like call me out sometimes and like, um, today I could see like in, in your face. I'm like, mm, whatever. This is me. It's real. I'm not here to pretend to nobody because it is not good. If you come on all the time looking all amazing and all dolled up and make people think that you look like this all the time and this is the way that you should be at all times, that would be a lie. There are times when your face is going to look bad. There are times your hand is going to look crusty. There are times when your chin is going to look bad. If you have hair growing down there, sometimes the hair not going to be plucked out. And that is real world. That is the real world. Okay. So I am not, if somebody out there, you like me a lot, and your family or whatever, and you feel bashful when my face look crusty on my channel, sorry guys, that is the real world, and that is me. Sometimes I'm all doll up. Well, my family probably would have a different outtake on that. They probably would say that mm, she always looked good, except a few months ago, um, my hair that is underneath this wig was looking bad. Okay, my hair tend to frizz a lot. So my cousin came over and she was like, whoa, your hair need attention. But 
she um got to work and she you know i washed it and she braided it nicely and then she was you know like talking like oh it's so full like and then my aunt was like whoa it's so thick and nice that's castor oil guys that's castor oil and all that good things and i promise you guys i'm going to show you my hair very very soon very very soon i'm going to come on on this channel no wig with my hair all out like this and like see for those of you skeptical talking about you making ear products videos and you don't use it i do use every single thing i post because it's all natural on the hair okay however i don't have this quality time no joke guys i don't have the time to take care of my hair now we're talking about hair and the reason why i touch on the hair is because you also need to take care of your hair comb your hair whether it's a wig or your real hair have it looking amazing so that your face after all of that goodness that you do to your face and your neck and your decollete, the hair will just tie it all in together and you will look amazing. Okay? So don't only do the face, but take care of your hair. Comb it out. Okay? And... If you don't have the time, you don't have to walk around with it looking all shabby. You can put a wig over it, no joke. And everybody's wearing wig now, so if you are all fun and game. As a matter of fact, one of, and I wonder if I could say this, I think I could say this, one of my faithful subscribers, I haven't seen her on the channel for a while, and she went and she was having a little you know, thing going, some subscriber I keep you know, a little contact with, and she went and she, you know, sought out some things that was going on. And she tried a wig. Mm -hmm. She sent me the picture. And she was looking amazing. No joke. No joke. She was looking amazing. And it's like, you know, this person just get, just pick themselves up and just start to doll up their self and start to look amazing. And maybe that's one of the reasons why I don't see her on the chat much anymore because she's so, you know, all into herself these days and I'm so, ha so happy for her. So with that, I'm just saying that, guys, do something for you. Do something for you. Take care of you because if you don't spend the time to do that for you, no one is going to do that. Don't sit by and just watch other people taking care of themselves and you just admire them and like, oh, she looked good today. You can look good too, but you got to put the effort into it, okay? You know, I'm talking like this all morning and didn't have breakfast yet. I just remember I didn't have breakfast yet because I woke up late. Anyway, it's all good. It's normal for me. I normally have breakfast like 2 a.m. No joke. All right. So anyway, guys, I see the time and I know I have to stop. I don't want to, but I have to stop. If you're still watching, give the video a thumbs up. Take it up to 100 thumbs up at least. I love you guys. I'm going to take a few more questions because I'm all into them. Maybe it's the fact that I got a little sleep. I have all this energy today. All right. So um, Beatrix. Chichi, how are you? Can I ask when will you try Derma Roll? I'm so interested on your take on it. And I promised someone recently that I was going to do it and I still didn't. But okay, I have here and I mentioned it's still in the pack. All right, I'm definitely going to do it for you. All right, so I'm going to write it down and I'm definitely going to do it, even if I have to do it while I'm doing the chat, okay? CCH, can you please tell me the best castor oil to use for hair growth? CC, I am very biased when it comes on to castor oil and I'm going to say the Jamaican black castor oil. Not because I'm from Jamaica, but that's the one that I personally like okay but use whatever castor oil you have but i like the jamaican black castor oil and if you notice i didn't say a brand i just say jamaican black castor oil all right so we also have a uh, moya maris thanks for the birthday shout out okay so moya you also having a birthday so happy birthday moya brooke um yeah man natural queen celine cc jamaican okay somebody did answer um um you're so right take care of yourself cheryl jordan thank you so much um for real love yourself guys and i am not gonna be able to pronounce this but is ye to be t-i-b-e-s maggie maria welcome to the chat and we also have hey magdalene i don't remember giving you a shout out today how are you doing 
And my time is up, guys. You know I got to go. I'm just searching to see if there's a comment. Um, Selk, S-E-L-K-C-E-R-Bree, laid in front of me in the bank. Here, nice, close, nice. Then I look down and, Lord, all crack up. <laughs> and she's talking about the feet, guys. See what I mean? You got to take care of your feet. Other than that, this is what is going to happen. They're going to be looking at your feet. You're all doll up up here and down there is bad, especially if you're wearing open toes and slippers and all these kind of things. So make sure to take care of your feet. All right, guys, my time is up. I love you guys. Thank you for joining Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. Esther, in Nigeria, is either washcloth or soap made from palm tree or sponge, usually long. And similar to something Jason was saying. I need to get some of those things to try. T-E-N-D-A-I. Gumby, I love your video. They are good. Thanks so much. Mary Bamad, St. Lucia, say rag. Elizabeth, happy birthday to Marie. All right, so I missed that. So I'm still going to see if I could find Marie just before I get off. Maya, I teach you, can you say happy birthday? Now I found it. And question, Marie. Okay, um... Oh, Marie. Okay. Who am I sending happy birthday to? Marie or Mara? Okay. So Mar Marie, happy birthday, Marie. I hope I get it right. Happy birthday, Marie. Happy birthday, Marie. Happy birthday to you. And how am I doing with the birthday singing, guys? Let me know. My time is up, but we Latin use corn loaf for and this are dry the corn ear and use it. I need to get one of those. That sounds very interesting. Lucy, corn ear. I've never seen that. I definitely would like to see. I Google it when I'm done though. How do I make my eyes white? Every week we get that question. Every single week. So you know what I'm going to do for you guys? I'm going to write it down and I'm going to really do some research on this getting your eyes white. Okay? Because I get that question every single week. So stay tuned. It will be coming up. I need four more thumbs up, guys. Four more thumbs up to close out the show. Hello, Hannah Williams. How are you? Lucy, when I was growing up in Trinidad, we do that also, but not anymore. All right. So we are waiting for three more thumbs up. Um, okay. So I think I went through the comment. And if I miss your comment, guys, Dominique St. Laurent, Thumbs up. Thanks for that. Charles, Samantha, I, Tenzi, Tenzi, hello. If I miss your comment, guys, please note that I don't see all the comments, but I try my best to take as much of the comments as I possibly can. And Wendy Wellington say, rag. Okay, guys, my time is up. I love you guys. I have an amazing time with you guys today. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. We do this every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We talk about the topic. Sometimes we stray from the topic. Sometimes we turn the topic upside down. We interact with each other for at least an hour or so. And we just have an amazing time. Thank you so much for watching. Love yourself. Take care of you. Remember, head, face, neck, décolleté these areas all the way down to your toe to have your skin looking young, fresh, wrinkle-free. And don't forget to do the facial massages and the facial exercises. Love you so much. Guys, go and watch the video I post this morning and use it if you can or just leave a comment to let me know that you actually came from the live chat to watch that video. Just leave your comment under it, okay? And for the birthday people, send me an email chichibeauty at gmail.com. Okay. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. And I'll also see you next Sunday, 4.30 PM Eastern Standard for another in our series, Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good night. Good evening. Good afternoon. And what else? Have a great week. Bye-bye.